Good morning and welcome back to Grace Junction Homestead. I'm April and uh, I've noticed that we have quite a few new subscribers and people asking questions so um, I'm just going to give you a quick recap. My husband and I, Royce, and our two teenage daughters just, well, about four weeks and two days-ish ago we got here, but uh, we sold our property in Nebraska and um, moved down here to southern Missouri to get out of debt, which we have managed to do. We are debt free, um, except for, you know, little things like car insurance, which, yeah, whatever. <laughs> anyway, freedom. Oh, it is the greatest thing. It truly, truly is. Anyway, we bought 14 acres of, um, I guess you call it raw land. There's nothing on it but trees and a pond. And uh, we've been living here four weeks and two days. And <laughs> yeah, every day. Just, they, you really keep track when you live like this. <laughs> anyway, we are off grid in a fifth wheel. Um, surprisingly comfortable um, in such a small space, believe it or not. Um, our, our camper is 37 feet, so that helps a little bit, but, <laughs> um, yeah, so we are, we are off grid except for the use of a generator. We don't have solar power. Um, we are going to be getting electricity run in hopefully the next month because <laughs> air conditioning would be so nice. Um, yeah, check out our other videos and see what we've done especially farm tour one and farm tour three we skipped two because life happened it may happen again just so you know um okay so for the rest of you who have been following along and know what we've been up to uh here's what's new this week we got the beginnings of our fruit tree forest uh we have four different kinds of apples two different kinds of peaches and two different kinds of plums um, that's all I went with so far because budgets are what they are and uh, Walmart had them on sale and so it was kind of just sort of pick what we could and uh, yeah I will be getting a lot more though we're gonna end up getting like a really big variety and a whole bunch and I, I literally want a fruit forest <laughs> and uh, I want to get that in as soon as possible because biblically we're not supposed to harvest for ourselves until the fifth year so <laughs> Yeah, uh, some of you know what I'm talking about. Others, I, I don't have the scripture on hand right now. I should have had that ready. I guess I can subtitle it in, so you're probably watching that right now. <laughs> anyway, so yes, we got fruit trees. I'm very excited. I think we're probably going to put it down there by the pond, um, just so they're easier to water and we have to do less watering. By the way, look at the new edition of hammocks this week. Oh, these have been a lifesaver. We actually have three, which this blue one is probably going to end up somewhere like either over here or I don't know. We'll figure something out. Um, the idea is we're all shaded and hanging out together with a lovely view of the pond. Um, so this is an old one that we had. It's a hammock for two that Royce and I can uh, hang out in in the heat of the afternoon when it's too hot to be in the camper. I'll tell you what. <laughs> it gets hot in there and these tiny little windows just do not provide any kind of breeze at all during the day I mean it doesn't matter how really windy it is out here it just it's it's not breezy at all in there so it's always cooler outside um so yeah that's that's our hangout and our spot in the heat of the day um what else is new okay we have started a little container garden <laughs> um this is not where it's going to end up at all um but here we've got like some zucchini there's a couple corn in here they're like really short like i don't know two and a half three foot tall um blue sweet corn there's lots of nasturtiums in there and a couple purple and yellow green beans in there and all three of them are planted the same and then these or just like we got a couple rhubarbs we have three different um, grapes and some raspberries in there and then we brought out our 
our starts and our plants and all our little seedlings and things so that they can get sun. They're under the table right now because the weather's been a little unpredictable and I didn't want to have to worry about it about them getting pounded with rain or anything. Oh, why I really need to water this. <laughs> anyway, so that's all outside and ready to go. Actually, I do have a little bit more inside. Excuse our mess. We're well, messy people. Um, over here we have ever seeds that got started the other day. They're like all edible flowers. She's like really, really into edible flowers. And then in that bucket right there, she has some purple carrots that she's growing. Let's see what else. Okay. Um, I wish I had gotten a before picture of this. This is where the garden's going to go. Beyond beyond this little mess right here. <laughs> which we actually worked on. We cleared a whole bunch of this out. But uh, over there is where the garden's going to go. And Ever and I have been just exhausting ourselves. Trying to get this cleared out. And I really wish I had a before picture. All this was blocked off by this tree. It was just massive. So we have cut that out by hand, Ever and I. Um, Royce and Mia are off in Nebraska working for the last five days. Hopefully they'll be headed back this way tonight. Uh, yeah. Um, he's a painter. He's a self-employed. We own our, our own company. So uh, these are the tools that we have used to get all this work done. And there's our pond just right there. So irrigation is going to be pretty easy once we get it going. But yeah, once Royce gets back to drive the tractor and run the chainsaw, we're going to get these trees out of here except for that big one right there. Um, we're keeping all the really big trees. Um, <laughs> too bad that one had been logged. Well, I guess it's not too bad because now I get to have sunlight here. <laughs> this clearing probably wouldn't be here if that tree hadn't been cut down. I think it was taking up so much space that that's what was the cause of all this clearing. Oh, well, and that tree. But that wasn't us. Anyway, so this is where the garden's going to go. It's going to be all raised beds. I want to use as much natural um, materials as possible. So, like tree trunks and branches and things to build up raised beds. And uh, I think it's going to be really pretty when we get done. Ever has a little pink swimming pool over there. Uh, thanks to Jess from Roots and Refuge for the idea for that. She's going to get her, uh, her flowers all transplanted into there pretty soon. Right now they haven't even sprouted yet because it's only been a couple days. But, yep, she went with that. Eight dollar one from Walmart. Um, let's see here. What else? Oh, we got some more chickens. Let me see if I can find some of those. We picked up six more hens because our seven that are old enough to lay. There's one of them. They're the what are they? Silver laced wine dots or something like that. I think that's what they're called. They're a pretty bird. Anyway, so we got six more of those. We already had one, but we. We got six more because the seven layers that we had that are old enough to lay have only been laying like four eggs a day. And we have seven other Americanas, but those are not of age. And two of them at least are... Oh, it's me tripping looking at the screen and said... Oh, she left the milk bowl out this morning. Do we get milk in there? Nope. All right, so some of you saw that we started a chicken coop last week. It didn't get done because Royce had to take off to work. And uh, we transitioned to another project before he left anyway. So <laughs> anyway, but the plan here is now that the bottom will be a chicken coop. And then the top will be for hay just uh, to get us through summer. Obviously, we'll have to build a barn for winter hay storage. Um, but yeah, we're going to do water catchment off of that. It's going to come off here, and then we have a filter, and a, oh, mosquitoes are getting me. A filter and a gutter to go off of there, and then into this tote right here, and, um, uh, I think it's going to do pretty well. The stanchion is not going to live underneath here. <laughs> it's a, it's a temporary roof for when it rains, so that's why that. Anyway, so we started this, but then we transitioned to making a bigger goat pen for the goats 
because they all got sick and they needed more space to run and they had to get off the infected ground. So they now have, I don't know, probably an acre, maybe a little more to run around on. As you can see, they're just lounging around by the door right now. But uh, yeah, so Royce and Mia got that almost finished before they left and then Ever and I finished it up and then started on clearing the garden and that's for the most part what we've been working on this week. Oh, Jenny wants out. Poor baby. We've been letting her out so much, and now she has forgotten that she's supposed to be a goat dog. <laughs> she gets all upset when she sees the people, and we don't let her out. She gets into a lot of trouble out here, though, so it's probably best that she's in the pen. <laughs> she just gets into everything. Um, so, yeah, since we moved all the mamas and the babies into there boy i'll tell you what our hay bill has gone down so much since they've had all this room to forage they are out eating all that oh by the way we're pretty sure ada's pregnant and maybe due in the next month that's pretty exciting <laughs> she'll be a first freshener this year and uh yeah i think it'll be really really nice to not have to worry so much about babies coming on the ice We'll see how this goes, but I'm pretty excited. Anyway, so all moms and babies are in here, except for Mr. Asher, who is living with Zeke until we can find him a new home. Uh, if anyone in the... Oh, sorry. Boy, these mosquitoes are just getting me. I sprayed myself with some Maggie's Farm natural stuff, but apparently I didn't get my hands well enough, or my face, because it's... They're swarming my face and my hands. Um, anyway, so if anybody in the area is interested in bucklings, we have quite a few that are for sale. Um, they are registerable if you want them registered. Um, we may or may not have a doling or two for sale. I'm not 100% sure on where we're going with that. Um, I know that we are in the market for a mini Nubian or possibly just a really gentle Nubian that is in milk. So if you know of one of those in the area, we will happily trade <laughs> or just buy one. Yeah. We'll look at them just enjoying their breakfast. Did you tear a big hole in that, Zeke? Your face should not be fitting in there. These feeders are awesome. She's got this one hanging way too low, though, but... I like them. There's way, way, way less waste. Except when they tear a hole in it. Which is not an everyday occurrence, but it does happen. Anyway. So, that's pretty much your update for this week. I mean, um, it's not a lot to show, but we did get a lot done. I mean, fencing in an acre is, it's work. Yeah. <laughs> it was definitely a lot of work to clear the brush and the down tree and everything that we've done in the garden. Um, I'm really looking forward to Royce getting home and he's... <laughs> Not told me all the details, but he keeps talking about how he wants to come back, and he's got plans for building things. He wants to, you know, structures. So, yeah. I do know that he bought a carport, so hopefully we'll be cleaning up the mess around here, which has been kind of driving me crazy. <laughs> anyway, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, we'll be getting the garden in, so there should be a good update on that next week there should be raised beds with stuff actually in them and maybe even sprouted by then so <laughs> come back and see how that's going um i'm not sure 100 percent on what else we're going to be doing the next week uh, we should have the water catchment up and going um because this will be the second time in five days that ever and i have got to go haul water <laughs> and it's kind of getting a little bit old um so, yeah, if you are planning on moving somewhere <laughs> and doing water catchment, you should plan on water catchment probably being one of the first things you do. Because hauling the water is not the fun. <laughs> so, uh, get some kind of a structure up quickly, even if it is just, just two by fours with some kind of roof on them that's catching water. Um, we started with tarps <laughs> and it went really well while things were gently raining and there wasn't a lot of wind um 
but when there's wind involved or storms involved it gets ugly quick and it's just a kite flapping around so right now what we're doing is we strap these into the back of the truck this is a 30 gallon and a 55 gallon and we go get water <laughs> and we bring it back and we carry it by bucket and it ends up getting sucked into there and it's a lot of work <laughs> So we're definitely going to have at least a little bit of catchment up by the end of um, next week. And then the garden should be well on its way. And yeah, I'm pretty excited about making next week's video because we're going to have some good stuff to show you. Anyway, um, yeah. If there's anything that you want to see a video on, if there's something I'm not showing that you want to see besides the inside of the camper, which is still a wreck and you may never get to see that because it may never be clean enough for me to feel like, okay, I can show this to the world. Um, but if there's anything else that you want to see besides that or that you want to know about besides that, if you're curious about anything at all, leave a comment. Um, we love your comments. I don't know if any of you realize this or not, but we... We do not do this to get paid. We do not get paid anything from YouTube at all. We are not signed up on Patreon. We're not making anything at this point at all. So <laughs> our payment is your feedback. So like and comment, please, because we love to hear from you. We really do. That's why we do this. I mean, if you were to ask us, why do we YouTube? It's because we are crazy madly in love with homesteading so much so that we are just like middle school crush excited about it and want to tell the world about it that's why we youtube and um yeah we're kind of evangelical about farming is that weird maybe it's weird we're weird i don't know anyway <laughs> leave a comment just because say hi or anything yeah we love the interaction anyway have a blessed day